ain't nothing I can do against it. <laughs> Even if I don't agree with it. <laughs> what? Yeah. I had to drink tea. <laughs> and some things I did. That's the problem. No, I just need It's the truth. Some things when God want to do, I have to get out of the way too. We're in the season that everybody has to do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The word of God wants to do something. We got to get out of the way, man. And so we, God is bringing us to the point where we don't have to be closed minded And we don't have to be hostile to the truth. Yeah. Amen. We don't have to oppose the things of the Spirit. We can move forward in the things of the Spirit. We don't have to be deprived from opportunity. We can choose to say, man, God wants to bring something different. That's why I said we need an apocalypse. We ain't had a, a, a true apocalypse because the covers come off. Things that are hidden come to the light. And all of a sudden, you came in like Clark Kent, leave out like Superman. That's when you have a, an apocalypse. All of a sudden, you're like, whoa! Like they used to tell us back in the day, like Zena. Yeah. <laughs> remember how it, yeah, there was a quality? Was, was that, was, y'all remember Zena? Oh, the name goes out. There you go. The quality had to what? Go away. Before the name, name goes, goes out. out. That's what we need, a Zena's moment. Uh-huh. <laughs> Season of preparation. Yeah. Not before promotion. Yeah, yeah that's good. Come Get on. in the cleft of the rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lord. Allowing the Spirit of God to bring us. Because there's a summoning of the Lord. I'm getting ready to quit. There's a summoning of the Lord across the globe. Yes. Not just in this little yes. building. Yes. People are hearing yes. the Spirit of God draw them. Yes. And it's, it's very irresponsible for us not to respond. Yes. I'm here to tell you. You got to make up your mind. Amen. Yes. Because there's people that's assigned to all of us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Tell you, David, all of us. All, all, of, us. all of us. All of us. Yes. And when we're being prepared in the school of the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. He's training us. That's why we have sessions. That's why we're able to break bread. That's why I was able to say some things that was probably unlawful in other churches, but it's lawful here. Yes. Yeah. Then we can look into the scriptures mm-hmm. because we need to be open in our mind. And if our mind is not open, we need to get open-minded. That's why I said we need the apocalypse. We need a true apocalypse. Tell you we need a true apocalypse. We need to get to a point where we can begin to allow ourselves to entertain the possibility that God has something bigger and better for our life. That he wants to transition us to a next place and the next phase in our life. That we can truly Without failure, cross over into things of God. Tell you that you can cross over. You can cross over. But you're going to need something, and that's why. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> I should have put a period in there. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. But um, it's not going to happen. It's not automatic. It's not going to happen by osmosis. The Holy Spirit, I mean, the. the well. I was going to say something, but anyway. Yeah, the Holy Spirit wants to resuscitate us. Mm-hmm. He, wants to, so he wants to breathe in us again. Yes. Thank you. See, because when He breathes in us, there's hope comes. Amen. There's excitement comes. Amen. You get animated. Yeah. Yeah. Not agitated, because you, if you're agitated and short-tempered, that lets you know where you're living. You're living in the carnal realm, the earthly realm. God wants us to shake ourselves from the dust of the earth. He wants us to ascend into his assigned place. And we have to transition. I'll talk about the apocalypse next week, y'all. Because I want to walk you through that, what it means. Because it should be happening every time we come. But you know what happens sometimes? Intellect gets in the way. Circumstances get in the way. Situations get in the way. Our mind is in another place. Our body is here. But our mind is fixated on other things. And sometimes you have to bring your body into subjection. When you're coming into this place and say, this, I'm going, I'm, this is a holy place. I'm, this is a holy moment. And I'm going to have an kairos in the spirit. I'm going to have an incarnate God. There's 
not one moment as Elder Vanessa Bray about my mouth being enlarged. It's not, I don't take a day when we come together corporately. It's incidental. Every opportunity I stand up here, I expect God to blow my mind. I expect a level of reception in those that are here. And I get up here and I beseech you by the mercy of God. I implore you to a certain course of action. And if you would somehow harness your energies and your attention and your faculties and say, God, I'm going to bring it to a level of solidarity, solidarity to you. You're going to reap benefits. I'm telling you, you're going to reap some benefits. Remember, he consecrated for us a new and living way. And if you look that word up in it, Greek, it, it, it's the word they call it efficacious. It means, you know what it means? It never loses its power. What he consecrated for us is forever sealed. It's efficacious. It doesn't lose its luster. It always has its appeal. That's what it means. So when I look into the perfect law of liberty, when I have just the, the, the mindset that I'm just going to Go through scriptures. I'm going to jaywalk through scriptures. <laughs> and a lot of, yeah, jaywalk through scriptures and allow the Spirit of God to take me on a, through the avenue, be it Gen Genesis or Isaiah or Nahum or Micah. I'm, 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 I'm asking the Holy Spirit, okay, so what direction? What inspiration I need? What revelation I need? What are you speaking? What is the Father saying? That's, that's his mission. Jesus gave us Three chapters on what the role of the Holy Spirit is. What he did is he? And then he took over as the high priest and told us, he told us that sanctify him with thy word and with thy truth. John 17, 17, right? <laughs> when he was in the garden, he spent time informing him of the role of the Holy Spirit. Because with his function. His functionality in my life is, is, is going to bring, that's, um, that's the great equalizer. We can love on the Father. We can love on Jesus. You know, without Him, we can get anything from the Father, right? The covenant was made with Jesus, not with us. I don't know if y'all know that. We're joint heirs with Him. We're heirs of God, but joint heirs with Him. Yeah, he's the door. We can't even come to the Father yeah. without Him. Right. So there, there's, a, there's an honor and a homage we need to have, but then we need to be able to respond to the Spirit of Christ. That He said, I won't leave you comfortless. That's in the midst of us. It's called the body of Christ. His church is redeemed. It's up to us. We're going to hit, we're going to touch down next week right into 1 Corinthians uh, and, and another place in Romans. We're going to talk about the apocalypse because we need one. You don't have to wait until the wheels fall off in the, in the society. But most of everybody looking at the world is going to the hell in the handbasket. It's going to keep going to the hell in the handbasket. But there's a light. It says, Arise and shine, for thy light has come. Right? What did he say about the earth? Gross darkness has filled the earth. But he has not left himself without a witness. It's called the church. A city set on the hill that cannot be hid. If we get our information from him. Or we can be cheap and a copy and a knockoff and get our information through the TV. And allow the pronosticators to tell us our future. No, 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 no. No, I, I, I know too much about the word to know. God is up to something. All there's system failure in the whole earth. But there's a system called kingdom that's eternal. So 
So the best way you can do it to transition is unplug yeah, from that system yeah, yeah. and plug in to the king. Yeah, yeah. I just prophesied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of us got like a plug and trying to fill out what the power is. Mm. We're just finding out you don't got no power because you keep running around in life trying to plug into something. And it doesn't have the power. But there's a power that says, I never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now that's a power. Yeah. 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 Father, we bless you. Thank you today. Thank you for your word, for speaking to our hearts and our minds. Truly, as we look into the, the Holy Writ, the blueprint for our purpose, we understand that Paul anticipated an apocalypse to happen, an unveiling, a disclosure to happen in the earth. It is a people formed in your image and in your likeness. People that understand for such a time as this, they're coming forth. And we, we bless you that you're changing things. That there's a rising and a fall of many. That ultimately, the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdom of our Lord and His Christ of whom we are a part of. <laughs> we bless you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.